Welcome to the Oak Cliff Cocktail Breeze. My name is Ethan Johnson. I'm the training program director at Oak Cliff Sailing. And today we are going to tune the mast. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to measure the arc of the forestay to make sure the forestay tension is appropriate. So before we start, we're going to make sure that the rig is loose. We gotta make sure the vang is off, the main sheet back there is off, and then also the backstay. Then we're gonna loosen everything else up. We're gonna start from scratch. It's real important that you pick a nice, calm day with not a lot of wind, preferably no snow or rain, but usually we end up rigging in the snow or rain. Um, and then after that, um, make sure you have all the tools that you have to do the job. And we're gonna go over those real quick. Loose gauge, this is gonna measure the tension of each of the wires um, for the rigging. And then we got um, needle nose, that's going to be for removing the cutter pins, anything that we need to take apart. And then we have our pins. These are scar pins. Um, they're Velcro and then they wrap around the turnbuckle. Um, this is going to be what we're going to put in uh, to hold our rig up and keep the turnbuckles from, from uh, unwinding. And then we got a winch handle. Um, that's going to be to get cat up to the D2s. Then we have adjustable wrench. A lot of boats have um, just open end or fixed sets of um, wrenches for their turnbuckles. Um, custom made so they don't have to worry about adjusting it and it does a lot less chewing on the uh, on the turnbuckles. But this will work and then a uh, screwdriver, something um, something metal and small enough to get through the turnbuckle so we can hold it a lot of times we use the end of a end of a wrench so it doesn't chew it up as much but um, we need something smaller for the smaller turnbuckles up top and then a lot of people have bosun chairs uh, we have a climbing harness that's a rigging harness So we're going to make it just like this so we get an accurate measurement um, if we attach it to through here um, then you just have to compensate for the three inches lost um, between the tilasco or shackle leading up to the end of the tape measure. The bottom line is the one that's on the 11. Yeah. Yeah. Five feet, 11 inches um, from the center pin uh, up on the forestay, and we're going to take this tape measure, and then we want it to line up with this band, and it's going to be the lower marks. You want some tension on your halyard when you're measuring the arc, so just make sure. When you're doing it by hand, you just kind of keep the same amount of pressure. Um, keeping it tight, you don't want to pull on it too hard because then you'll, depending on your line, you could get some stretch. So right now, comes up just above the line. So we're gonna kind of do a little bit of Averaging, we're going to do it three times. Then we're going to have to tighten the forestay so it brings that mark back down. Okay, so by adjusting the turnbuckle down at the base, we're going to be able to bring this down. So, right now, um, the marina that put the rig in, um, they put some turns on, um, and we don't know how many. And we also don't know if the rig is center or not, so we're going to start over with this. 
and take all the pins out, um, loosen the rigging, and then we're gonna be able to put turns on to get to our correct loose gauge settings. Um, but before that, we're going to measure um, the rig being center. So the reason that we put the wrench up on top is so that we don't twist uh, either tightening it up or unwinding this cable. That's really bad and it's even, it's bad on solid rod, rod rigging and any type of rigging. Um, so you wanna make sure you keep the, the pins, the entry points to both of the pins on the turnbuckle. Um, make sure you keep those lined up and then also when you turn it um, for these it is counterclockwise is tightening and the opposite direction clockwise is loosening um, so you're gonna when we get up to some of the bigger loads um, it's gonna be a two-person job so this one's a little bit um, lower than the other one. Um, so we're going to just put a half a turn on that one. We know we can go up turns um, because we're definitely below the loose gauge setting. But if you chase it back and forth, you wanna make sure you don't over tighten your rig. So when we do the loose gauge, um, you gotta be real nice to these guys because um, you don't wanna damage the parts. Wanna make sure you keep it clean it's not rusty, um, things like that, because they, they're quite expensive and they're some pretty good tools for sure. Um, so you want to get it kind of as high as you can get it. You don't have to go on your tippy toes or anything, but kind of at that six plus foot range. Um, and then you're going to line it up like this. Pull back, fit it in there. After you do that, kind of jiggle it. You want to make sure you can see the measurement on 33. So we're probably going to go up two turns on this and then we'll um, recheck. But now that we've centered the rig, uh, we, whatever we do on this one, we have to do on the same thing. So if you're putting a turn on this and a turn on that, really you're pulling down quite hard, so go up by small increments. So, we still... so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing with the um, diagonal ones. Um, we're gonna get them hand tight um, plus um, plus three turns um, and then after that we're gonna get to the loose gauge setting and then we're gonna start to from now on we're gonna start to look up at the rig and see where the bends um, and where the tip points off to so we can make it a nice straight rig gotten the uh, tension pretty close we're just looking up the mast. And right now, these guys are moving right at the first spread. So it's adjusting um, where the mast goes. Also, if it's windy or hard to hear, make sure you establish a nice line of communication um, between the person uh, hoisting cap or the person that you're hoisting up the rig is. Um, that way everyone is on the same page and if something were to happen while she's up there um, we can easily fix it, figure out what's wrong, um, whether she needs higher tension, So right now, Cat is up top. 
she's uh, just at the first spreaders. She's adjusting the D2s. What she's done is check to see um, what the reading is on the loose gauge. So after she gets it to 10, we're gonna sight the rig um, and then see where it's at. That, I let her down smoothly, not jerky, because no bowman, no rigger likes that. So what we're going to do is hand, keeping two hands, passing it together, nice and smooth. So the last step, uh, fully off, we tune our backstay and get this up to a reading of um, 20. Um, make, I'm adjusting it with this lashing. And then we'll uh, tape it off and everything so the competitors cannot adjust it while racing. So we just finished tuning this rig. Um, these boats stay the same but your bit is probably going to have a full tuning guide and you can go up and down on your rig and your rig settings uh, based on your wind conditions. Um, so now that you've watched how we set up our boat for our base setting, um, you can go and do that. So every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday until we get back up and running um, with our regular programming, we're going to be having the Oak Cliff uh, cocktail breeze series and that's going to be videos just like these that we're going to bring to you at 5 30 every day so in our series we're going to have videos on cooking things that you can be uh, doing while you're in quarantine and then also some other useful sailboating tips because we have two boats in the water and we can bring them to you every saturday we're going to be having a different industry leader bringing a topic to you of their choice. This weekend we're going to be kicking it off with Chelsea Carlson bringing to you meteorology. To attend live and ask questions to our industry professionals, um, the cost is $20. If you're a 2020 Oak Cliff supporter, you can have full access once they've aired to an online portal with all of our videos. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you liked this video and make sure to tune in next time for the Oak Cliff Cocktail Breeze.